Hello. 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 Wait, tell me what's going on here. What's going on here? Hey, this is Houston. What's happening? This is Hartford. What's happening? Hey, same thing. Yeah, right. Hey, who's got the beep? One of those. Who thought of this? We cut the beeper on. The Briarcliff Manor. I don't know. I think we may. Okay. Could uh, we cut the beepers? No. I don't know. Let's see what we can do. Yes. Yeah, yes, office. here. Oh, well, why don't you organize all those voices? <laughs> Hello, John, how are you? I'm all right, how are you? Very good, we're trying to get rid of that beep for you. Oh, good, I didn't, haven't heard it yet. It's very annoying. Beep. To love all these beautiful voices. Yeah. It's, this I, is too much. <laughs> what is going on What's here, happening? man? Who is this? This is Houston, what's happening? Hold on, why don't we get a roll call here? Bob, all right. This sounds good. Let's get a roll call from the East Coast office. <laughs> Okay, Do you want me, since I'm the farthest east, for sure, right, my name's Paul on. Robinson. Okay. Who's on the line, anyway? All right, let's call Ron Berger. You there? Oh, that's right, they couldn't get you. Paul Payton? Yeah, over here. Uh, Bob Slavin? Where? Jerry Lubin? Right here, from Detroit. Jim Hilty? Uh, Tony Raven for Jim Hilty in Houston. Uh, Tony Raven for Jim Hilty. Uh, Bobby Reno? Here in New Orleans. Lee Arnold? Oh, they kept getting recording. <laughs> uh, Dick Finley? Yeah, Philadelphia. Uh, Mr. Morgan? <laughs> Wyland for Mr. Morgan. Hi, Dick. Wyland for Mr. Oh. Morgan there. George Meyer? Hello. Hello, Dr. George Ed. Meyer. George. Hello. Uh, Pete Larkin. Here. Jim Larkin. Yeah, Pete Larkin. Oh, we Pete got two Larkins. Larkin. Hey, is that Bruce? Hey. Tom Kennedy? Bruce? We're with you here in Cincinnati. Kennedy, greetings. Why? Hi, Lodia. Bruce? Hi, Rich. Finley, how you doing? Hello. I know. Uh, They're going to make this into a fire sign theater. It's <laughs> <That's> pretty good. <laughs> hey, Gil. Oh, Paul, let's kick it off. Let's go. Okay, I'll John, take the John, first question. John, John, do you want to help me on this? Yeah, I'll take the first question. John? John, when did you first meet John Lennon? Oh, about <laughs> 1940. <laughs> John? Yeah? Why the oldies? Why not? Okay. Amen. Well, I mean, I've been uh, thinking of doing it for years, and in between doing other albums way back in Beatle days and since, when in between takes, like, we'd always start messing around, and we'd always play those songs, you know? Uh, Bebop Alula, ain't that a shame? Has it taken you a couple of years to put it together? I noticed on the back of it that some of it was done in 1973. And well, it was a psychodrama, and uh, it, it was called Phil Spector. <laughs> right. Uh, and I started it in 73 with Phil, and it sort of petered out. The album is very good to dance to it. I noticed that a lot of music coming out or being influenced now is dance music. Was that any part of... Uh, no, I mean, I, I was just... Uh, when I started it, I just finished Mind Games. I felt like just singing oldies and not being the producer. So the ones with Phil on, he produced, you know. But the thing collapsed. He had a... a or supposedly, I don't know. You never know with Phil. He had a, a car accident. And then I never got hold of the tapes till just as I was starting Walls and Bridges. So... Out of about eight tapes, about four of them were really worth using, you know. What are your personal favorites on it? Uh, oh, that's pretty hard. I, I like Stand By Me, and I, Bebop is one of my all-time favorites, so I like that, you know. Hey, John. Yeah? When you did that album, did that kind of bring back a lot of memories of the old days, doing those old rock and roll tunes like that? Yeah, uh, there was some... Uh, it was Deja Vu, as uh, Crosby, Stills, and Nick has always say. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Must have been a lot of fun. Talking to a friend, down. you know, when I was doing something like Peggy Sue, which I hadn't sung since I was about 16, I suddenly, in, on, on the take that turned out to be the take, I suddenly found myself just remembering it all in my head uh, without reading the lyrics and just remembering all the inflections when I used to imitate Holly. <laughs> so I really would sort of suddenly find myself age 16 again doing them. And it was quite a trip. Really? You getting your hair back too? Uh, well, my hair just happens to have grown down to my shoulders now. It's always the wrong length at the wrong time, but I like it like that. Could you tell us about the cover of the LP, John? Uh, the cover was a picture taken by uh, a German friend of of my of, of ours, the Beatles, in 1960 in Hamburg. And the three shadowy figures on the front, for those of you who've got the cover or will see it, are Paul. Uh, there's sort of three people out of focus that are moving, you know, it's one of those photos where I'm still in a doorway and there's three figures moving and it's Paul Stuart Sutcliffe who was an early Beatle who died and uh, George and uh, the guy just turned up at the Beatle Fest in New York selling these photos and apparently he'd been living in New York for the last three years <coughs> and he was a friend of Klaus Vormann's who turned out to be a bass player and that's the story behind that and I thought it sort of suited the, uh, the day, the album. John, does a move back toward rock and roll mean a move back toward the Beatles? <laughs> in, in other words, uh, how about those rumors of the group reforming that are always around? What you know, what status is that in, if any? 
Well, uh, let's say we're just good friends, so so. <laughs> <laughs> Have you heard about the... Uh, we're talking and we're all happy with each other. You know? I love you by yourself, John. John, too, man. John, have you got wind of the uh, the Canadian thing? Some stations up there are trying to uh, get people together to try and get you guys to get back for one last show and the whole routine. Have you heard about that? I haven't heard about it, but the thing is, if we got back together, it wouldn't be for one last show, right? I mean... I, sh I should think so. You know, and uh, obviously, uh, my instincts are, if we ever do anything together, it'd be more sensible for us to sit in a studio together and, and get relaxed together and make some music before we went stomping out, you know. No, no, they, they're not saying that's in the offing. How's the legal thing? You getting any amnesty? Uh, and, uh, I haven't had my amnesty yet, no. My immigration remains just the same. I'd be interested to know they sentenced John Mitchell today. How do you feel about that? I, I want to say um, congratulations, John. <laughs> <laughs> uh, John, now what about the charges that uh, were supposed to be a conspiracy against you? I remember reading something about that a while back. Well, it's, it wasn't against me personally. I, there was like a fishnet out in the late 60s, right? Yeah. And they just hooked in everybody. And I was part of the people they hooked in because I was associated or seen around with Rubin and Hoffman and those people, you know? Yeah. And uh, at the time when it started, the immigration, I was being bugged. My phone was being bugged. And I was being followed around by cars, but this, this was pre-Watergate, and everybody thought I was crazy. What's the latest uh, well, we status the now? Case on that in court. I have to say that. We, we couldn't prove that we were being followed, but it did stop after I went on Dick Cabot. John. <laughs> then everybody vanished. John, why do you want to live in uh, the United States? Because um, I love it. <laughs> You know, I don't know what else to say. I just like it here. And if you leave, you can't come back, right? I think he left. <laughs> can't come back? Okay. You're on, you're on the air, lady. <laughs> How did you feel when you came out on the stage with Elton John that night? I happened to be there, and it was one of the most exciting things that ever happened to me. And you looked like you were dazzled by the whole reaction. Well, I, I hadn't been on the stage for three years or something, and uh, it was really weird, you know, especially when I woke up and looked around and it was some other guy's band, you know. <laughs> you seem to have mellowed out a bit, John, since the first solo album that was full of a lot of pain, it seems. Yeah, well, I still I still get toothache, but I'm, I just can't go on singing about it every album. I thought I thought it was a valid statement for, the, for then, you know, but uh, it said what it said, and... You, can't, you don't just go on about it, you know? How are you doing with Yoko? I understand you've seen your lady again. Yeah, well, we've been together now two weeks, and it's uh, fun. John Holland from Milwaukee. Are you insecure about your voice? Uh, yeah, I hate it. <laughs> Is that why you always use a lot of echo, no matter whether you're doing oldies or dewies or whatever? Well, I just like that sound, you know? I mean, that, that's the sound that turns me on. If I'm not using actual tape echo, I use a, a machine, which everybody uses anyway. Uh, I can't remember the name of it. There's different variations of it. I be very seldom just have a straight voice. Otherwise, it doesn't sound like a record to me. John Lennon? Yeah? Robert Bartlett, TDQFM in Jacksonville. How much unreleased material does uh, the Beatles have in the can? Uh, practically nil. The only unreleased stuff is the stuff that is not... It's like bootleg that came from weird concerts in Sweden and places like that. John, we in Chicago are outraged by all of this nonsense they're causing you. And something you may be interested in, a senator's son went to a, the Jethro Tull concert in Chicago last night and was busted for an ounce of grass and sent home two hours later. Ah, well, so, uh, that sounds like the usual story, doesn't it? A question relating to the original bust. The yeah. man, the whole root of this thing happened uh, six years ago now, something like that. Yeah. And the cop involved has become famous for being involved in either planting yeah. stuff on people or just being out to bust everybody he can. Have you met him, and what's the story on that that we can get it uh, straight? Uh, I haven't seen him since he bust me, but since he left, uh, at the period he was busting me, he, he planted me, George, and Jagger, and a few people, you know? And later on he went on to not just planting people, but to taking money from them, you know? And then he got into the big time, and there was quite a big scandal in the, in the London police about the drug squad. Uh, quite a lot of them, including him and his superiors, are now in jail. He was caught in Australia trying to run away. The English always run to Australia thinking it's the end of the earth, but they always get caught. And why do you think they're still after you? So many years have gone uh, by since then, and theoretically we have a whole new environment now politically. Why do you think they're still after you? Well, you know what red tape is, man. I mean, it's just red tape, and somebody started it four years ago, and nobody knows how to finish it. I mean, it's a political decision that will have to come from Washington. John? 
and uh, they have to make up their minds. Right. John, yeah? do you think collectively, as all of the radio stations that are on this telephone, if we combined ourselves and did something for you, what could we do? You could get everybody to write into their locals or, or, or get it all together and send it to Washington, you know, because it, it really counts. It'd be great if you did something like that. You can turn on it Chicago. It, you know? Why don't you cut a promo spot and uh, circulate it with all the FMs around the country? We'll be glad to help you out. Very much. That would be a good idea. I'd yeah, like to do that, I'll, sir. I'll get with capital on that. I'm sorry, your call did not go through. Oh, Will you yeah. please hang up and try again? Yeah. This is a recording. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't catch what the hell you said. What? I did not what? catch what the hell you John? Yeah? I did not I'm catch I'm sorry, your call did not go Somebody through. Interrupted Will you please hang up and try again? <laughs> this is a recording. Please <laughs> shut up for a second so he could finish the question. Finish the answer, please. Which was the bit you didn't get? I didn't I'm sorry, your call did not go through. Will you please hang up and try again? This is a recording. Sounds like a disc jump. Well, look, Seven. the first record is that you get a word in, so uh, the answer was that I did the charities when I had... I'm sorry, your call did not go through. Will you please hang up and try again? This is a recording. I think he's serious. That's Jerry Ford. <laughs> no. Who is that? Jerry Ford. <laughs> not too wide. No, sir. I think it's real. I'm sorry, your call did not go through. Will you please hang up and try again? This is a recording. I'm Pete Larkin at WNALSM. Mr. Split, I'd like to take just a moment to thank you for a lot of years of great music. Oh, well, thank you. And thank, thank all of you for putting up with this madness. And uh, if I'm around, I'll, I'll get to see you. If not, all the best to you, and thanks for playing the music. John, we all thank you very much, man, because without you, none of us would have been here doing what we're doing. Well, it, it goes both ways, you know. Good luck to you. Everybody, thanks a lot. John, John thank, you, thank you, man. Uh, thanks all of you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye, and thank you. Hello, in New Orleans. Bye-bye. <laughs> are, are you going to try to get back down here before... Okay. Yeah, I'm going to try and get there before he finishes. Hey, Paulie? Yeah. Paulie, bye -bye. get a chance. Bye. 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 I'll talk to you, Bob, too. Goodbye, America. Bye. Bye. Great fire sign. Bye, bye, America, here. from Capitol Records and John Lennon. Near left. This is a recording. Thank you later. Bye-bye. 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 Well, thanks a lot. So long. Take care. Bye-bye. See you later. Bye-bye. Strange. Who's left? Alcohol for alcohol. <laughs> Crazy. Thank you, Paul.